Hello students today we are going to study neural networks neural networks as you have already studied in machine learning and soft computing that it is a network that resembles the brain so we'll study uh, the neural network in detail in data mining also so neural network is a set of interconnected input and output unit in which each connection has a weighted associated with it so you have already studied that it will be having some input as well as there will be some weight associated with input so that is what is being uh, narrated here so during learning the network learns by adjusting the weight so that it will have the ability to correctly label the classes okay neural network uh, learning is also referred as connectionist learning due to the connection between the units that input unit output unit and hidden layer they all are connected to each other so it is called as connectionist learning so before uh, so we in neural network you know study about multi layer feed forward neural network a multi layer feed forward neural network this is a multi layer feed forward neural network is consist of input layer one or more hidden layer and there will be an output layer each layer is made up of some units see input layer is made up of these units and hidden layer is made up of these units and output layer is also made up of such units okay the input to this network whatever the input is coming the input to the network is the attribute that is to be measured in the for each training tuple so the input to the network corresponds to the attribute measured for each training tuple the input is fed simultaneously into the unit making up the input layer so it will be coming here this input passes through the input layer and then uh, it will be weighted also and it is fed to the second layer which is the second layer second layer is a hidden layer the output of the hidden layer is put into another hidden layer if there was another hidden layer here then it would be put into another hidden layer so here uh, it is not put into uh, another hidden layer it is directly put into the output layer okay so number of hidden layers are actually arbitrary if it consists of two hidden layers then it is called as three layer uh, neural network okay so uh, usually we use one hidden layer here the output of the last hidden layer the output of the last hidden layer or here the output of the hidden layer is fed into the output layer okay from here you will get the prediction of the tuple which is given so here output will be the prediction of the tuple okay so the unit of the input layer is called input unit the unit of the hidden layer is called as neuroids okay it resembles like biological neurons so same uh, so we are taking the same concept like neuroids now this is a feed forward network no this is a feed forward network why it is called as feed forward network the weighted uh, weighted never cycles back so whatever you are giving it is going forward it is never cycling back the output unit takes the input as a weighted sum of the output from the unit in the previous layer so it will be using uh, the uh, so uh, this will be using the weighted sum of the uh, say the output which is coming from the previous layer okay the output unit here the output unit takes the input as a weighted sum of the output from the unit in the previous layer it is done by applying a non linear activation function to the weighted input see you have um, x1 x2 xn and there is uh, there will be weight associated with this like you will be having uh, uh, w1 w2 till wn there will be weight associated with that and they are uh, sum together that is sigma xi into wi uh, it is done by applying a non linear activation function to the weighted input from the statistical point of view they can perform non linear regression also so so multi layer feed forward network given enough hidden unit and enough training samples can closely approximate any function before training begins the user must decide on the network topology 
by specifying the number of units in the input layer. So how many units you are going to use in the input layer, the number of hidden layers, the number of units in the hidden layers, the number of units in the output layer. Normally, the input are normalized to fall between uh, 0, 0.0 and 1.0. So neural network can be used for both classification and numeric prediction. For classification, if you have only two class to be predicted, then one can be used to represent one class and another can be used for predicting another class. If more than two classes you want to use, then one output unit per class is needed. Let us check what are the disadvantages of the neural network. It involves long training time. So that means that neural network is used where the training time is not considered. So neural network is criticized for their poor interpredictability. We have discussed the uh, disadvantages of neural network. We have to discuss about the advantages of the neural network. The first one is the uh, includes the high tolerance of the noisy data. Okay, it can tolerate noisy data. The ability to classify the pattern on which they have not been trained. So it can classify the pattern uh, which it has not been trained yet. That can be used even if you have a little knowledge about the attribute and the classes. So they can be used when you have a little knowledge of relationship between the attribute and the classes. So unlike decision tree algorithm, for decision tree you can refer my uh, you can refer my video on decision tree. So unlike decision tree algorithm, neural network can be well suited for continuous valid input and output. So it can be used for continuous uh, continuously valuing uh, values you are given for input and output. Neural network has been successful on wide array of real world data. It can be used in uh, handwriting character recognition system, pathology, laboratory, medicine and training of computer to pronounce English text. It can be also used in rule extraction from trained neural networks. Neural networks are inherently parallel. So parallelism technique can be used to speed up the computation process. So I hope you may have got some knowledge about the neural network. So we have discussed what is neural network. We have discussed the multi layer feed forward network we have studied the advantages and disadvantages of the neural network i hope you have understood the topic thank you